Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today I'm gonna install this eBay special. It's a Keychain uh, shifter box replica. I got it for like like less than a hundred dollars. I've been wanting to do this. I want to see if I can put it on on my uh, 99 type of cord. So. I also bought a, a uh, RSX uh, race uh, cable. It's for uh, RSX uh, cable. Uh, they designed a bracket that goes for the H transmission. Let me show you real quick. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. So, oh. By the way, yeah, I just got done on my uh, H22 uh, swap. So as soon as I put it on and we'll see how it goes. There you go. I also put a big brake on it huh, a long time ago. It's a RL uh, caliper and a 13 inch, uh, I think I believe if I remember, it's uh, from 05 uh, CRV. Yeah. Yes, it's doing okay. Dyno that does what, 420 horsepower? I can't remember how much torque. But anyway, okay. we'll just go back. <clears throat> well, like I said, been been trying to uh, well we'll see how it goes well this is the existing uh, shifter plates from the ports I just kind of chopped it off you know well the reason behind is I could just go ahead and mount this on the floor but I got so much vibrations coming from the motor because I'm using a husport mount and the last thing I need is another vibration coming from this so I tried to minimize it, but I could also, well, anybody can use a, a base plate and put it on there, the one that you can get for like $30 at eBay, and it's a replica also, but the reason why I'm doing this is like I said, it's for it's using a rubber mount, so it will absorb some of the shocks, the vibrations, and if you use the base plate, this thing will come up. And then you're gonna end up trimming the uh, the cover for it, and I just don't want to do that. I try to avoid cutting any of the cover inside the dash, uh, the, the interior. I try to make it. Uh, I want to make it clean. So that's why I made uh, some of the mistakes. At least so you don't have. You guys don't have to. I, just, I end up cutting this up in the beginning. Well, the way I got it set up was. I wanted to, uh, well this is the, the shock mount for it. So I ended up cutting it in the beginning, I thought it would work like so. Find out that the cover, this thing is hitting the, uh, the cover, so I don't, like I said, I don't wanna cut anything. So what I did was, the next day, I moved it back about two inches or so just to accommodate without trimming any of the cover and I just welded a, a stud on there you know because if I don't or I can just put a regular nut but the thing is the nut is thicker than the bushing than the rubber so it'll be pressing down on the floor so it, that this will not do any good if that happens so by doing so it's almost like it's flat oh man my neighbor started to uh, to do some uh, some moving action but anyway uh, I'll show you when uh, when I, I put it inside the car you know so you guys if you ever get one of these or the, the real one or the fake one you know 
like I said, there's so many ways of doing things, but this is just how I want it to be done without cutting any of the interior. Okay? So we'll go inside. And I think I'm going to wait till my neighbor gets done <laughs> on his yard work. <laughs> okay? Uh, we'll go inside. <clears throat> Yeah, like I said earlier, there's so many ways on how you can do this thing, but I just figured out this is how I want it, just to eliminate any of the, uh, oh, what did I do? Bear with me. Oh, by the way, the uh, the only trimming I did inside of this is just that this part right here, the little part right there. Other than that, not much of a trimming. go back to original I just need to go to the junker and just just get one it shouldn't cost me more than uh, 10 bucks maybe for that little sheet metal All right. <clears throat> let's see back here And for that mounting mounting this base plate I'm using the uh, <laughs> valve cover uh, a grommet it's got some rubbers on there put that on. and then another mounting bolt for the rear I just have to
secured. So now it's time to, uh, to put this thing on. One thing nice about this uh, RX uh, Kachen uh, cable is they provided that nut and it's so easy. Just have to make sure everything is all seated nice and squarely. Okay, that's tight.
go. Driving uh, the one hand on the phone. Man, nice. <laughs> it's like night and day, dude. Ship now. Wow, it's golden, man. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, the old one is so so sloppy. That's it guys, have a good day.
not bad. I drove it around. I like it. The only thing I don't like is the uh, the, the stop that I made. I have to do something, some uh, something that will absorb the shock. Put like a silicone uh, plate on there, or something, or some bushing or something, rubber, rubber piece. This is making it's make so much that clunking noise. But I guess that's what I what I got from having this. Well, I'm happy. I know I always said I want to do it, and now it's finally on there. And I know I bought this in the intention of, uh, in case I messed up, hey, you know, at least I didn't spend $400 to cut it up, but this one is, I don't mind at all. Well, we'll see, uh, see how long it lasts. It breaks, then I'll just buy the, the real one. Now I know it, 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 it will fit. But even the new one, I think, I don't know if you guys can see it under there. So I, I still need to be uh, to be trained uh, the base plate, but it's not gonna be seen. It's gonna be covered up. Huh? My review? It's night and day, man. You guys gotta have this, and it's on a 90, 19. 1995 on oh, no, accord and my uh, swap is already done I finally got done yesterday so I gave it a try all right if someone will ask this is a uh, FRS seats that I fitted on there all I have to do is just uh, just weld uh, the ear, the mounting, and it fits. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I like the support, the lumber. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Have a good day. Finally, get done. With it. So good, I like it. Mm. Right on.